One of our most popular questions of interest or topics of interest is uh, what type of beaches are surrounding the town of Cabrera? And within a 10 minute car drive on excellent pavement, there are eight surrounding beaches. The beaches around Cabrera are very different than the beaches in Samana and Las Terenas because you'll find them to be almost totally vacant. Uh, you will have a white sand beach that could span as much as two and a half miles and quite often you may be the only person on the beach. They're all totally safe. There are three of these beaches that have little restaurants and calmados to get supplies. You can have uh, hot meals, fish, chicken, rice, potatoes, all for about between five and six dollars brought to you at a table that is underneath a tree, many times an almond tree or a coconut tree, so it's very comfortable with the breezes and the shade. The first one we're taking uh, a quick look at is we're approaching La Boca. In English that means the mouth because the mouth of the river empties out into the ocean and it's in a small town about a 10 minute drive out of Cabrera called La Entrada. Another peaceful little village where people just seem to get along. Uh, they have all common areas, stores, and we're taking, it's a little farm road and we're taking it uh, out to Boca Beach. And enjoy the ride and from here we're going to end up to Diamante, which is famous for the parents with small children because you can walk out about 200 yards and the water is really only knee deep. There isn't a single stone, so there's nothing that uh, children or adults for that matter can cut their foot on. It's what we call sugar sand, which is very fine granulated sand that they actually, uh, it actually gets packed by the water and it makes for a, ve a very easy uh, entry and exit of the sea because it is such a hard floor. So enjoy the ride and we'll catch up to you at Boca Beach in La Entrada. Okay, welcome back. Here we are at Boca Beach in La Entrada. You'll find a beautiful emerald sea gentle uh, rolling waves there uh, generally uh, because it's on the leeward it's never tremendously rough because it's quite shallow as well you can see the color changes these are some of the local calmados or little luncheonette places that serve all local Dominican food which is absolutely a treat you're gonna find the local people enjoy the fresh water even though we're right by the ocean ironically this is fresh water emptying out into the ocean you can see the crowds having a good time bathing swimming it is absolutely i don't know of another island in the caribbean that offers beaches with this kind of privacy please bear in mind we are on a holiday monday so if this is what it's like on a holiday, you can imagine what kind of privacy you would have uh, during the week or on regular weekends. Many of our friends uh, love this beach. Lentrada Beach is very popular with a lot of our full and part-time residents uh, in terms of carrying out some wood in the trunk or the back of the car and actually outdoor cooking right on the beach. All of that is legal. Uh, we, even though there are no laws, we do really ask that you do try to keep things as clean as possible for others to enjoy. The government put out uh, little public thatch huts, as you can see, keep you in the shade. Many of them have little wooden chairs with them. It, it truly is a unique paradise. You can see some of the extra wood left out here that people will gather to cook with. Very different from 2000 beach chairs with uh, pineapple drinks. La Entrada Boca Beach runs about a mile and a half in both directions. And enjoy the views. It's, uh, oh, there's two people. 
and it's absolutely no other island in the Caribbean I know that has as many beaches as we do outside of Cabrera in the Rio San Juan Nagua region of uninhabited beaches. It truly is amazing. They're doing a major cleanup here after a storm, so what will happen is the town of La Entrada, the city workers come in, they'll rake it all in piles. Next couple of days, the dump truck will come, pick it up, and it's always clean out here. Our next stop is going to be Diamante, a completely different beach. It's actually a lagoon, very unique. Go to drescapes.com and sign up for one of our free discovery tours of the north coast of the Dominican Republic. While you're on the website, be sure and download our free guide explaining exactly how you can gain residency and a second passport in the Dominican Republic.